Hey, what's going on YouTube world? Hey, this is another review, Transformer review. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Bruticus Maximus from the Energon series. And I'm going to have my son giving me a hand with this. Hi, hi everyone. And th this is obviously the Re Revenge of the Fallen version. The Revenge of the Fallen version, now Colton, if I'm correct, that this is a repaint of the very first one, which was... Transformers Energon. Transformers Energon. So Transformers Energon was the first one, and this one here is the second one with just different paint schemes. And also, th this was, well, th this repaint here was reused in the Transformers Universe line. The Transformers Universe line. Now my son has more knowledge of this Transformer than I do. I do know of Transformers Energon, but I, it, it didn't impress me that much to, to get deep into it, not like G1 or G2, you know. And if you want to know about the Energon show, go, go watch the Superion video. And also the Superion fi figure what was also reused in the universe line like this guy here like this guy now this guy this Bruticus has very limited articulation he's not articulated like some of the other Bruticuses uh, he is better than G1 uh, in a couple of areas but I still like to old traditional look of the G1 Bruticus compared to this Bruticus. He's alright, but he does have his flaws. So, with that said, we're going to show you a couple of uh, his articulation points of Bruticus. And for articulation, arms, are on a soft ratchet around and they can move in and out on a ratchet and the waist is on a soft ratchet but it's a squeaky ratchet it is a squeaky bugger it needs some WD-40 yeah legs are are on that same ratchet like the waist More WD forty. But 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 when you move them in and out they 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 don't have the school squeak squeaky ratchets. like the waist and the hips where you move them forward and back. Knees are on a ratchet and can also swivel at a ra ra ratchet. And, and that's it. As far as this Bruticus, this Bruticus is 
all right i've seen a lot better but we are talking about stuff that come out in like 19 what was it 1994 what, what when you, the energon come out when the energon no. series no energon came out in 2004 okay okay 2004 okay <clears throat> but like i said i have seen a lot better brood of kisses this one here is all right um and he's from the energon series so we're going to get off and to start pulling him apart like i said we did do this backwards we're starting out with the with the combined mode first and then we will dissection it bit by bit oh one, one more Ar articulation that that i forgot is that his head can swivel and with him saying that i'm glad he brought that up because he does have let's see if we can get it off in there He does have some light piping right there. So now we're going to take the arms and separate them from Bruticus. We will transform one on camera and the other one will be transformed off camera they both transform the same way even the what lag bots here and j just like with superion you, you can turn these into either arms or legs or these as legs or arms so it's kind of going back to a g1 scramble city where scramble city you had that option leg could become an arm arm could become a leg okay did do we know how to turn these into leg modes do you know how to turn them in i don't do you do you know how to turn them into leg mode Okay. Mm, but but I know how to turn these into arm modes. Okay. Okay. So we can show that here in a little while. Because like I said, I have not had a whole lot of time to look at this one real good. So there goes the arm. And now I'm fixing to take off this arm. Yeah, just hold them right quick. I've got to pull them. And we just pulled them apart. So now we have an armless Bruticus. But, but, but I can show y'all that the hands here, and to, to remove the, the hands or the feet, feet, you would remove this from either these pegs or these pegs pegs here to these holes here and to turn these into the feet you would bring these around and well If you want to, to to know how these turn into the the feet for Bruticus, go go watch my custom vortex because I I've shown y'all how these turn into the. feet and with that said 
I, I gotta show them how to yeah, go ahead. transform. So, so to get this in robot mode, you want to bring up the connector here, then take the cockpit and the arms here and bring it all the way up. And also, this peg here is going to go into that hole there. Well, b before you br bring up his ch chest, you, you will have to open up these here, and then bring his chest up. And, and if it hasn't done so already, you would take the head here and flip it up. And that that's it. That's it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you, you can remove these? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. You can remove them. Just pull them off. I I think I for, forgot to m mention y'all that you can remove mm -hmm. these here mm -hmm. on both sides. Mm -hmm. Yep, and they can plug in right there in the arm to give them like arm cannons. In these holes here, and these pegs here, or even these pegs here. Or you can just have him hold these in his hands. Mm -hmm. So you do have options with them. And one thing I do have to say is that the the Bruticus I'm not that much impressed with. The individual Decepticon robots themselves, they do look uh, good. They do look very good. They have nice light piping. Oh, which and comes through and these right here are translucent clear oh, well not translucent they're like clear red translucent red and so is the cockpit right there so I do have to say that these individual Decepticons look pretty good now as far as articulation they have a good range of articulation for that time 2004 the lead the arms can go all the way around and I just took the gun off <laughs> and I just need to put it back on like so the shoulders have a nice range of bend to them the head as y'all seen a while ago can turn all the way around completely all the way around 360 the legs have a good range of bend ball joint there and you have a ball joint on the inside right there so you can get him and these guys in some pretty good poses as far as articulation and but both of these have the Energon stars on the ba back here that you can uh, remove. And once you remove them, you actually reveal a Decepticon symbol. Let's see if we can see that a little bit. Mm. 
in there there is actually a Decepticon symbol once you remove the Energon star and but both of these ha have the the Energon stars that that has the the de de Decepticon symbol in, in here And these two actually transform into a see, into somewhat of a similar AH-1 Cobra copter. And if you want to know how these here tr transform, go, go watch my cu custom. Vor vor vortex because these two transform the exact same like that custom vor vor vortex okay very good very good now we're going to put these guys off to the side and then we're going to get to the legs of Bruticus Which are these here. And we're going to pull them off. I got it. So now we just have the body that we're going to get to here in a minute. So now we're getting off into the legs. And I, I know how to transform these into their arm modes and to get these in their arm modes you just simply take the back here bring it down and then take the toes here and bring it down and you, you do need to be v very careful because all of this is translucent plastic. And the problem with translucent plastic is it does not handle stress real well. You can actually snap some of this if you're not careful and you put too much pressure on it. And then you just take the connector here, bring it down. And there's the arm mode. Well, let's go ahead and get Bruticus right quick. Here, I got him. We will attach him. Very good. And there's the arm mode. There is the arm mode for Bruticus. As part of G1 Scramble City. Okay. Got him. Whee! We just ripped his arm off. Okay, anyway. All right. So to get these in robot mode, I'm just going to remove this. And this goes into those holes into these here. And th this is the veal commode here. That, that this and the other one transforms into and he he rolls on well this and the other one rolls on these four wheels on the bottom and you can take this here bring the guns down but but leave the, this up and this is going to go 
go into these holes, which are going to be his hands, into these pegs here. So you can have that, that. And but both of these have the Energon stars here that, that you can also remove. So to transform this and the other one, you want to take the treads here, untap them, and bring them out on this joint and also this joint here. And then you want to bring them out so that they're like this. And these tap into these pegs and those holes. Then you just separate the front here. Take what will become his feet, untap them and Flip them down. Then you just take his arms here and you, you want to take this arm and slide it up and then take this arm and slide it down. And that will separate his arms. Because th this tab goes underneath well well it slides underneath this hole here so you just bring them out then rotate these guns up and you also want to take th this entire thing here and rotate it around rotate his elbows around and then the these like yeah the these hook tabs here are going to lo lock into these here And then you just take this, bring it down, and bring it up, bring down his head, rotate it around, and you're done. And you're done. Now, I have seen some people call these flipper transformers. The reason why they call them that is because of their feet. Their feet kind of look like flippers <laughs> and basically all you're doing is taking the upper part of the tank and just flipping it down so I can see why they say that but okay you know yeah And yes, go ahead. And I I know you, you have his gun like this. Mm -hmm. And if you want to have him hold it, his well, their hand foot guns, like 
like this, you, you will have to bring this down and th this peg will have him hold in either one of these hands. Or you can also have either one of these hold these in these pegs, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to put his double barrel cannon on that arm right there. And now you have two. We're just going to put that right there, but right, so they can see that there is a star for that one there. I just decided to take it off. So, as far as light piping, they've got it, and they look really good. That's out, and that's in. And the same with this one. Um, like I said, they, they look okay. I like the helicopters better. I do. I like out of these guys, I think this guy takes the cake. These guys are okay, but this one here, I, I like him a lot better. And for articulation on both of these their heads can swivel all the way around and they both have ball jointed shoulders elbows yeah yeah they, they both have waist articulation. And, and it's, well, if you rotate it, it unlocks, which, which means it's like untapped when you ro rotate it. Ball joint at the legs, ball jointed knees, and that's it. Then um, the barrel. The barrel can swivel, can turn all the way around. Um, they have barrels on both both arms, <clears throat> as like arm cannons. Like I said, they're okay. Now, we're going to put these guys off to the side, and we are going to get to, his name is not Onslaught, his name is Barricade, but we are going with the Decepticon Bruticus, so I guess his name would be Onslaught, because in Energon, it was Barricade. And... I have no, no problems transforming the, this, uh, unlike the, the, the aerial bots. Well, the, the limbs were easy, but the b body on, on that figure was c confusing. Yes, the other one was a lot easier compared to no I'm sorry I've said it backwards the other one was a lot more difficult to transform than this one here the other one gave me fits with fever but this one here we got a good handle on them so to get get the body of Bruticus in to the robot mode of uh, of uh, onslaught because this is the re repaint 
You want to take the horns here, bring them back, rotate his head around. And you want to take the sides here and take the head here and all of this is going to untap. But you want to be careful with this part right here right. because it has been known to pop off. Now, when it pops off, it can pop back on as long as it is not. Um, let's see if we can turn it up right here. As long as it's not broke right here, this piece normally slap, snaps back on. But if it's broke right here, then there's an issue. But like I had it happen to me, this section right here snapped off and I just snapped it back on. So that is one issue with this mold where this section right here will snap completely off in the middle of transformation, not meaning to. You just snap it back on. And the head goes into these pegs and those holes and these pegs here go into those holes there. So, so, so you just bring this all the way back like, like you just saw. T take these here, bring them out and bring the combined mode head down. And for the arms here, you want to untap them and bring them up. And these pegs go into these holes here. And then you just Bring the arms down. Rotate his biceps. Bring them down and strain his elbows down. Then take Onslaught's head and flip it down. And then you co collapse all of this in. Oh, and well, you have to make sure that this is straightened all the way up using these two hinge joints here. So that way all of this can collapse in. And this peg here, here is going to go into that hole there. And then you just bring these in. Well, You have to make sure that these are fold in like, like this. Good. Then
then you just rotate his waist around. Another one needs WD-40. Then you want to take these here, flip these out, then untap his knees here and bring them all the way down until they tap in. And then you can close these up. And you're done. And you are done with Onslaught. So they say that's Onslaught. Now his articulation is, you have pretty much the same. His head sculpt is different. That's why it just looks very odd. Because I'm just not used to Onslaught looking like this. But, he does have light piping. Nice light piping. The head sculpt is alright, I'm just not used to him looking like this. For articulation, arms can go all the way around, in and out, bend at the elbow, on a very tough ratchet kind of swivel. The forearms can swivel. We need WD-40 for his hips, but they can turn. He even has a, let's see here. Yeah, but that's probably for transformation right there. He does have a little bit of a articulation of an ab. Not much, but and if you go any further, it'll actually go into another transformation of uh, his vehicle mode. So that's pretty much as far as you can articulate him without going into his vehicle transformation. As far as the abs. and that That's what I was about to say. say. I got you. I got you. His legs, real nice. Ratchet. Clickety clackety joint. In and out. In and out. Oh, and. And they can also move forward and back. Mm -hmm. Forward. On another one of those. Soft ratchets. And also and the squeaky. The squeaky. The squeaky ratchet. It can turn at the knee. In and out. Uh, no ankle pivot. And his head does move around. And his head does go all the way around. A full 360s. So, Colton, is there anything I'm missing before we put these guys all in a, their, their team? We, we <clears throat> have to tr transform him. Yeah, you're talking about in the vehicle? Let's go ahead and get a group shot right quick of the team together, all together, so this way we know what they look like in team mode. Yes, there's his star. Okay. And then there's the other one. And there's that guy. Still like them better. Let's see if we can get a group shot in right there. That's pretty much you have the leg, the leg, the body, the arm, the arm. But this is not you can still scramble city. You if you wanted to you can make him a leg, you can make him an arm. Or vice 
versa. Oh, and th the names of these two and these two, the, the names for these is Vortex, Swindle, and the names for these is Brawl and Blast Off. And of course there's Onslaught. So this is a reissue of the Energon 2004. They're just going with the Combaticon names. But as y'all know, this is not the Combaticons that I know of from G1 or even G2. These are 2004 reissued Energon slash Combaticons that make up Bruticus. Okay, now what we're going to do is take them each and we're going to transform them into their vehicle modes. But, but first, we're going to show them how to transform th this guy. Okay. So to transform Onslaught you want to take his head here, flip it up, then untap the, the back here, bring it out. Well, but before you flip his head up, you have to make sure that this goes all the way pa past here. And now you can flip up his head. And for the arms here, you want to rotate them up and bring them Well, the, this peg is going to go into that hole there. And you also want to take his elbows here, rotate them around, and these holes are going to go into those pegs. Now for the cap here, you want to take these, bring them all the way back, and these pegs here are going to go into those holes there. And now you just bring this all the way down and these holes here are going to go into those pegs there. And then you want to take the waist here, bring it all the way out. And then you want to bring it up, and these holes are going to go into these pegs here. And then you just rotate his waist around. And for his legs, you want to rotate them around 
open these up. And then you want to collapse his knees all the way down. Then close these back up. And then these are going to come up. And these are going to cover up the combiner pegs here. And this hook tab is going to go in here. And these are going to tap together using these pegs and these holes here. And then you just bring the missile launcher down. And there you have Onslaught in Vehicle Mode. Alright. We're, we're also going to get these in. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy right here. And you can show them how that one there transforms. And I will just put him right here. Help this. Mm -hmm. Yep. I I've already like. You showed show, them. Show them how to transform these into into uh, vehicle mode. Into vehicle and robot mode. Okay. All right. We're we're gonna get. The, this and the two helicopter d g guys in their veal commodes real quick. So, like I said, these are, these are all right. Like I said, they're just a uh, real fidgety but the robot modes do look pretty good what do you think Colton I think they do I think they look pretty good I, I think the robot modes look great I think the robot modes look great I'm just going but, to do this right here go ahead but, but also remember that there are, well, fan, fan, Fans Project did made an uh, upgrade set for, for all of these to make a much better Bruticus. Yes, and he's right. They did. They actually made a upgrade set for this. Uh... And the upgrade set helps it out a lot. Makes it look a lot better than what's right here. Same <clears throat> for su Superion. Same for Superion, yes. You are right. Let's see here. Right now, I am messing up because I forgot what to do here. <laughs> it's been about a week since I go ahead and I'll just pass this off to Colton. <laughs> so, it's, it's been about a week since I've been got to this. So, 
Yes. These tabs have mm -hmm. to go into these holes here. Uh, okay. It's been a long week. It's been a long week. And for some reason this is nuts. So those tabs have to go in there. Huh? Huh. And if I'm right, these should be able to fit on here. Yes, 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 okay, okay. Again, this one, two. What was I thinking? You just did it in robot mode. Anyway, there we go. Get on some guns down there. Yes. And it also helps them stabilize itself. Um, let's see here. There was something else I was wanting to say. There's no forms of declutter. Da, 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 team leader minus no project. That is all. Transforms. He transforms into an anti aircraft tank. The leader of the destruction team. Uh, t -t -t destruction team okay leader destruction transforms in somewhat near spark exploding something these transform into a similar oh. tank similar to a GEP ARD or a howitzer Supposedly. Go ahead. You you forgot something for okay. Vortex. Okay. Alrighty. You you have to rotate it. Ro rotate his okay. waist around. Alrighty. Well, that makes sense. That's the reason why they were up and, so high. And this t tail fin here has to flip up. Go up. Now you can put them back in the engines. I was looking at that and I was like, okay. But it's been about a week. A bunch of things have happened since then. I still like the helicopter modes over the tanks. That's just my opinion. The 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 only veal <clears throat> commode it issue that that I have for for onslaught is you can see his head r right there. That's his head. <laughs> and there's. There's no panels. Now, maybe the upgrade kit has a panel to cover it. I don't know. Yeah, we'll just throw that in there. That's part of his gun. That goes somewhere. I know it goes there somewhere. So, now, you do have a Decepticon logo right there. Nice. On b both of the helicopters. On both of the helicopters. Yep, right there. There it is. Got it. The cockpit is red translucent plastic you can see a little two-seater molded in there seat there seat there you have a star and then you have his big cannons down there at the bottom but overall it's a pretty nice I have no problems with the design of the the 
helicopter and everything and the propellers do spin they do spin the tanks the so-called howitzers they have a radar dish that's what that's supposed to be and then you have two cannons and then you have the two cannons here and it can rotate all the way around and both of these have the Decepticon logo. The Decepticon symbol here. Right there. And as far as onslaught, him, basically he's got wheels and he can roll back and forth. And his anti aircraft missiles. It, it's called a mi missile launcher. The missile launcher can swivel all the way around. Mm -hmm. Swivel all the way around. Which you're actually using his hips to swivel it, but hey. And they can also move up and down. And they can also move up and down. So we're going to get these in one more group shot here a little bit closer. This is 2004 Bruticus from an Energon line. Which is Transformers Energon, the, the, the cartoon. So, that's about all I need to say. I think that we pretty much covered almost every aspect of this combiner. It's okay. It's not one of my favorites, that's for sure. The transformation is kind of complex in a couple areas, especially him. But he's the bulk of the whole robot combining and stuff like that. I'm just not used to seeing them like this. So, like I said, I'm more favored to the G1, G2, and even the new stuff. This is kind of a combine him, put him on a shelf, and walk away. That's my opinion. Colton, take her away. And the video. No, if you want to add anything, add to it. How do you feel about it? And then we can wrap up. I, 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 I'm like, oh, oh okay, what, with, what, with, with these here. And, but like my dad was saying to y'all, I I also like the 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 G G one version and the n newer to toys of Bruticus that that has come out. Okay, I think that we pretty much covered everything here. Y'all, we appreciate y'all. Stay tuned for the next one. And Colton is going to take us out of here. If you like this video, give us a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching.